Hello, Minions! Wheezy here with another Wheezy's Weekly Wrap-Up. It's not the weekly update. <laughs> and this week, we're going to tell you what you missed on the channel, as well as talk about what shooters I should play, or games in general, on the PC. Because I got me a new mouse and keyboard. Let's go talk. All right, so as usual, we're gonna dive right into what was on the channel this week. Since the last weekly wrap up, uh, I did a video on the new Miami Strike Cold War multiplayer map. I played a couple of matches on that map, and I keep getting surprised that Cold War is the way that it is. The map itself isn't awful, although the way that it directs players through the map isn't great. You heavily favor one side over the other. That said, it's Cold War, so here's a clip of that. Switching sides. Oh, good. I'm back in this corner. <laughs> oh my. All right, let's do it. Secure the objective. Taking this objective. All right, someone's gonna be up there. How the fucking shit? Really? Alright, whatever. Can it come through there? Oh fuck! What the- What?! Huh?! Okay, yeah, I love when I die when the guy's not aiming at me. Thanks, Cold War. That was not a good throw at all. Good god. Fucking fuck! Why am I in this corner the entire game? What is this? Well, the gameplay and the commentary hopefully are at least entertaining if playing the game itself isn't. So watch me play the game and suffer so you don't have to suffer yourself. Um, the next thing I posted was a better update that came out of the Cold War update and that was to Zombies, the new sanatorium map. Um, as well as the new Easter egg in Outbreak mode and the new objective. I managed to get all three of those things in a three and out in Zombies, and uh, it's worth a watch, so here's a clip from that. Oh, I'm sorry, did I not see you guys? Hi. I don't want to leave you out. Good God, really? Did they, did they rebalance how fast the vehicles get fucking fucked? Was this something that needed adjusted? Seriously? I'm getting off of that thing, because <laughs> it's fucked. Ugh, this is so irritating. Why did it... I feel like the fucking snowmobiles didn't get fucked up this fast before. Fuck you, dog. Please. That's it. Okay. Oh, God! Yes! Lullaby for a dead man. Yeah! There it is, sanatorium. All right, level two. This, this place. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. That RPG did not, did not really help. Oh hi. Yeah. You got anything good? Seriously, that's what you dropped me? You fucking piece of shit. Wait for it. Accurate AF. My God. Yes, got him. Nailed it. Worth it. So be sure you go check that out. New zombies hotness. And zombies is still the most fun thing that I can do in Cold War right now. So um, after that, I was feeling some more Modern Warfare. So uh, that the same time they pushed that update for Cold War, they also pushed some new uh, a new Kill House map to Modern Warfare, and as well as a couple other new things. But the Kill House map was the big thing in Modern Warfare, so I jumped in that playlist and played a few matches in that, which was a ton of fun. So, here's a clip from that. That was the- oh my god! The world's worst shots, followed by this lucky motherfucker and is a one-hit kill piece of shit. Stand up. Stand up. How the fuck? How the fuck? Enemy 
Oh, I saw you up there. Eleven bullets. Don't flip the script. Don't flip the script. Oh god, here we go. Oh dear. Okay. Changing max. Trophy. Skiz, please. Good God. You flipped the spawn on me. Good Lord. That was fucking beautiful. Oh my God. Why am I so good? Why is this game so much better than Cold War? What a fucking murder sauce so make sure you guys are checking that out if you want to if you if you if you're i'm telling you if you're looking for a shooter right now modern warfare you're still where it's at it's it's so worth it uh i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to a new modern warfare hopefully next year 2022 we shall see um the last thing that i posted to the channel uh this week was uh it turned out being a longer video than I anticipated. It's a 55 minute long video where I discuss all the pros and cons of both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X slash Series S and did a full kind of breakdown comparison of the good, the bad, and the ugly with all of the new generation consoles since I'm lucky enough to have access to them. And uh, yeah, I did a breakdown so you guys can get my input. I've been living with them for about six months now. See what it's like every day, so here's a clip from that. You bring up this little crossbar thing, and you go down here, and you've got a game select. Say I want to close a game, right? Right now I've got Astro's Playroom open, right? So let's say I want to close it through my little XMB. I go to my switcher here, and I hit the little options button to try and close it, and it brings up this customize your XM your menu thing, which is like, no, I don't want it. So I always do this, and then I have to hit circle to back up, and then you have to click X to open the, the whatever item you're on, click on it, and then it shows all of my games I can switch between. And then I can hit the options button, and then I can close the game from here, or go to its game hub, and, and, and then I'm not sure where I am. And oh, and then I'm not back in the XMB again. So then if I want to switch users, I go down here, and then, then there's switch user. That used to, I used to be able to access all this no matter where I am just by holding down the PlayStation button. That used to come up. Now you hold down the PlayStation button, it doesn't fucking do anything. And if I tap it, it brings up this fucking, this fucking menu. I don't like that. That's not better. <laughs> That's confusing. That's worse. I'm a pretty smart guy. That's fucked. That's just not great. If I want to play something on the Series X, I know I just push this button and it's going to work. And not only that, but if I tap this button, it's going to bring up the guide like it always has. And if I hold it down, it's going to bring up the turn off or go to sleep like it's fucking supposed to, like the PS4 used to. So if I was blank slate, objectively choosing between the two right now. So be sure to go check that out if you guys want to get some insight, share your feedback. If you guys have the consoles or you're still looking for them or you don't want them or whatever, go to that video join a conversation leave some comments say playstation sucks xbox rules who's gonna win the next console generation um the water pumps buzzing in my house uh so yeah go check that one out too um those are the videos that i posted to the channel this week and kind of briefly i want to talk about i decided this week kind of on a <clears throat> kind of like a splurge to uh pick up a new keyboard and mouse i was just my setup in general, as well as thinking about if I'm going to play, try and play some PC games. Since I have the uh, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate that has some PC stuff in it. Um, and we, I mentioned it when I posted a video not too long ago where I was playing Battlefield 3 on PC in 4K. And <laughs> this office mouse <laughs> is not not quite up to snuff. Uh, the keyboard that I've had is, is just fine. But <clears throat> decided to get... A new keyboard and mouse. I got the keyboard yesterday. Let's see if I can get it coming. It's a, it's got RGB goodness. Oh my goodness! And it's like programmable, so that's like customizable. If you notice, I've got like the letters for Wheezy Four One, are the ones that are in orange. But it's like fully like customizable. You can change. It's 
It's not like the crazy expensive, most expensive, like amazing one in the world, but it's wired and wireless, meaning that I can plug it in and it's wired uh, and rechargeable and it's also wireless. So like right now, it's working. It's hooked to my computer. I'm just kind of nerding out. And I haven't even hooked it up yet, but a mouse worthy of some gaming. So I'm gonna get that hooked up and I think I need some PC games to play. I mean, I know there's like the stuff that's there, like Warzone is a free to play thing that I can definitely jump into. I have Battlefield 3, obviously already. Uh, I've, you know, I've been considering getting Battlefield 4 just for old timey sake and on the PC, you know, it's gonna have better graphics. Just even though I've got a Radeon RX 570, which is not exactly top of the line. But anyway, I would love to hear what you guys think I should be doing on my PC with my fancy new keyboard and mouse and and I'm I guess the most logical thing for me to do is to like make a series of me being awful with a keyboard and mouse until I get better I mean I'm not I'm not it's not like I'm unfamiliar with keyboard and mouse I'm a computer guy but as for gaming I'm, I've got to build my skills so so uh see stuff along those lines uh in that same vein I'm I'm kind of like at the same time capturing like uh, which games I'm going to include in the Wheezy's War College series. I think I'm going to go back, play some Halo, play some Destiny 2 uh, multiplayer, so I can include that stuff uh, in Wheezy's War College going forward as well. I'm just looking for new shooters, looking for a variety of shooters. I don't want, like I said, I don't want all of these videos to be the same three games, but let's throw some PC games in the mix too. I mean, the fundamentals are the same, right? Map movement, situational awareness. So yeah, that's kind of what's in the works. Uh, what's going on, what happened in the week of Wheezy this week. Wiki, 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 wild, wild west. All right, leave feedback, tell me stuff, go to watch the videos, leave comments and stuff. I love you, minions, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.